What's up everybody? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amanda back at it again with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be telling you guys my seven steps I take to make sure that I have a successful at home relaxer So if this is something that you're interested in if you're interested in doing a home relaxer, I hope these steps help you out Let's get right into this video so the first thing that i do is go through my relaxer kit sachets and all the products inside just to make sure that i have all the packets and all the products that i need to relax my hair i also like to check the expiry date just so i don't have an expired kit okay the next thing that i do is use a petroleum based product to base my scalp and apply my already relaxed hair just to prevent relaxer runoff and relaxer burning my scalp In step three, I like to pre-section my hair just so that it's easy to go through my hair while I am relaxing it. And I do it in these twists that I learned from Hairlicious. Step four involves me properly mixing my relaxer with the relaxer activator. If you do not do this properly, then all of your relaxer won't be activated. Then the relaxer won't properly process your hair. Four again. <laughs> I like to swap out the plastic gloves with latex gloves because I find that I work better with tight fitting gloves. Step five involves actually applying the relaxer. So I go into my pre sectioned hair, applying the relaxer to the new growth on both sides of my section. So I pick up the twist, apply the relaxer to the, first, the top side, turn it over, and apply the relaxer to the bottom side just to make sure my relaxer is evenly spread and equally put on all, on all my new growth. This way, I avoid having under processed um, sections and like parts in my hair. Once I've completely done all my hair. You guys can see how easy these twists make moving through my hair. Although this video is sped up, you can actually see I'm not struggling to open lines or get to areas that I need to relax. So step six involves me smoothing out the relaxer. So this is why I use form fitting latex gloves because I can actually move through my hair and feel that all sections of my hair have the relaxer and make sure my hair is properly processing straight. Step seven involves me removing the twists, the pre-sections I have done using the twists. Um, you need to remove them before you get into the shower to wash off the relaxer in order to avoid tangling your hair in the shower. So this is very, very important. And that is it guys. That is how I make sure I have a successful at home relaxer. If you do try this out, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd really be interested to know what are your steps that you take to ensure that you have an at home saloon or at home relaxer. Thank you for watching my video. Bye loves.